This short video from Learn Electrics looks at a typical sequence of insulation resistance testing on three phase circuits, or any polyphase or multiconductor circuit. The questions asked are usually Is there a simple and reliable system for the insulation resistance testing of three phase wiring? And how do we ensure that we have tested all possible permutations or combinations of wiring? How can we be certain that we have tested everything? When we insulation resistance test a three phase system, all that we are doing is proving that the insulation between the conductors is not damaged so as to cause a fault and that each conductor is electrically separated from all the others. It is essential that there is some sort of coding or marking on the conductors. This can be by colour, by numbering or by lettering. We need to be sure that we can identify each conductor as we test it. As with any insulation resistance testing, ensure safe isolation of the circuit under test and also ensure that all connected loads and devices have been removed from the cables. For a three-phase circuit with a nominal voltage up to 500 volts AC, we would normally test at 500 volts DC between the conductors under test. The actual tests and what the test results mean are described in detail in another Learn the Electrics video and we will leave a link to this in the description to this video. Begin by testing all possible permutations of wiring to the earth cable or CPC. There are just four tests to do. Earth to L1, Earth to L2, Earth to L3 and Earth to neutral. I always follow this sequence as this ensures that I do not miss any of the testing. This has tested all permutations to Earth and so we can now disregard Earth or CPC from the next tests. Now test all permutations to the neutral wire. This time there are only three tests to do as we do not need to test the earth wire a second time. So we test neutral to L1, neutral to L2 and neutral to L3. Because we have tested all combinations or permutations of wiring to the neutral, we can now disregard the neutral in the remaining tests. Move to L1 now and test L1 to L2 and then test L1 to L3. And L1 can now be disregarded from further testing. Now Test the only permutation left, which is between L2 and L3. And then we can disregard L2. And by implication, we've also eliminated L3, as this was the only conductor left and there is nothing to test it against. And that is the insulation resistance testing of three phase cables finished. It really is that simple. Just work through the testing one colour at a time and be systematic. Follow a methodical system of testing. Test all combinations to earth, that's four tests to do. Then test all permutations to neutral, three tests now. Next is testing to L1, which is two tests, and then finally to L2, just the one test. At each stage, there is one less wire to test. If you are writing down your test results, you should have 10 test results recorded. And that is it. We hope that this short video has helped you and that you've added a little more knowledge to your mental toolbox. Thank you for watching this video. It is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. Here are some tips on getting even more information and help out of learnelectrics.com. At your web browser, Enter learnelectrics.com into the search bar. Select learnelectrics.com from the choices offered and the website as shown will open up for you. You now have a couple of choices. You can search for a help item or any video by entering a keyword into the search bar on the right. Click on return and all the help files and videos with that word in the title will be listed for you. They will be shown with a short description and each video that is listed will have a link shown that will take you directly to that exact YouTube video. Or you can browse through a list of all the available items and videos. To do this, click on the LE logo on the top left of the home page and all our items and videos will be shown. There will be 10 items shown on each page and at the bottom of each page is a page selector, page 2, page 3 and so on. 
and these will bring up the next 10 items or videos in the list. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, so be sure not to miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again very soon.